She's packed up her guitar and headed south to a Nashville country western bar with the hopes of becoming a singing sensation. That's the premise behind the new show Delta, starring the one and only Delta Burke. The actress not only stars in this weekly sitcom, but she's also the show's executive producer. I was really nervous about it, but I, you know, you get to these these points in your life when you're tired of being afraid of things and you you want to tackle them. And yeah. And I kind of view life as is anything I choose to do is so that when I'm an old lady in the rocker on the porch, I, I don't regret. The only thing Burke might regret is her public feud with the producers of Designing Women. They said she was impossible to work with. She said they mistreated her. Now, a year since her departure from the show, Delta is breathing in a sigh of relief. I'm just so glad not to be there anymore. Yeah. And I'm sure they're glad that I'm not there, but it's much nicer for me. It was, it was, it was a wonderful place in a lot of ways. There were a lot of nice memories about it. Um, it's just that it was, it was very unpleasant, yeah. too, and so it's not worth it after a while. After she left the show, the negative stories continued. Her name seemed to be everywhere, her face plastered all over the tabloids. Burke said the attention was hurtful, but it also made her a household name. I handle it a lot better than I used to. It really, really used to nail me. Totally, totally get to me. Now I have a lot more sense of humor about it. But I'll tell you this, the ones that made it had one thing in common. Confidence. Good hair. Yeah, Delta's changed a lot of things about her life. Okay, what was the inspiration to go blonde? I thought once in my life, once in your life, you gotta go blonde. So I did. I don't know how long I'll stay blonde. I think I look better brunette. Everybody asks this. <laughs> yes, I know, but you know, it's what I gotta do.